I don't play the piano. But did you notice anything weird? I didn't either at first. But if you get your handy dandy guitar tuner and turn it on. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm speaking around an F. Huh, who knew? And go. How about a C? You'll find that the C on this keyboard is sharp. As indicated by this red light here. It's not just the C. G, A, B, and C. And D, and E, and F. And even F sharp. They're all really sharp. Which is kind of dumb. But you probably clicked on this video for the art tutorial. Good evening. Now, we're in the art tutorial portion of this video, and you probably clicked on this video um, suspecting that it would be a useful art tutorial on how to draw a cherry. But no, we're drawing a chair fairy. As you may have noticed a typo, which is not a typo. It's a cherry. Chair fairy. Now let's begin. You'll need a pencil, maybe some hand sanitizer if, you, if you're thirsty, and a stapler to staple the corner once you're done. I'm not sure why. And you'll also need a pair of 3D printed plastic legs. For reasons I'll show you later in the video. I just dropped it. Now, let's begin. Let's start with the chair fairy's um, tutu. Because every fairy we uh, wears a tutu. So you get you know, waistline right here, then you go. And tutus are all ruffled and stuff. Then smooth it out a little bit. Make it curve down. And then draw lines. Connecting the, the apexes of the- Draw lines connecting the apexes of the curves and the valleys of the curves all the way down to the skirt. Hem. Or maybe that's hem. Waistline. Then you add another second layer underneath. You do the same. Because this is a fairy wearing a tutu. Now, you guys may be wondering what a chair fairy is. I'll explain later on in the video. But now let's draw some legs. We'll go one leg here, and another one, another leg there. And since this is a fairy, we'll give her nice high heels. Now, those look more like heels that are high than high heels. If you get not what I mean. I mean, like, heels that are high, like, as in the... Whatever. I'm just gonna stop trying to explain. Now, let's finish off the tutu, um, tutu's insides by drawing the back of it. Still, we're gonna connect the apexes and valleys of the curves. Yeah, continue to do the curvy stuff on the bottom. And there's your tutu. Now, let's draw the rest of the fairy. There's her torso. We might refine later on in the video, or just do it now. Make it nice and curvy, because she's a fairy. And then, draw give her some arms. Yeah, maybe not that. But certainly, start off with that neck, and her arms are all extended and stuff. Hmm, I'm, I'm feeling weird today, and in honor of my sister's birthday, which is today, we'll give her freakishly long arms to hold her tiny little wand. No, she doesn't have claws, mind you. Her chair wand. Now, if we want to draw this chair good, 
we'll turn it over and do that. And there, there's her chair wand, so she can abduct the chairs from underneath your pillow. I'll do the same thing to the other arm. I'll go. We'll give her freakishly long fingers as well. Because she is the chair fairy. Oh, imagine just seeing this flying around your room at night, abducting all your chairs into her chair wand. That'd be entertaining. Anyway, let us begin with her head. Go. Give her some bangs. And a bun. Like those little curly things in the front of her face. And we'll give her two crazed eyes. And again, again, we'll continue with the three rows of teeth trend. Because I just can't get enough of those three rows of teeth. <laughs> oh. This is the second time I've drawn this, so. There you go. There is your fairy. But how does our fairy fly? Does she use her chair wand? Does she use her hair? Does she flap her arms like a bird? No, I would imagine she would have wings. Wait, do birds flap their arms? I'm not gonna think about that. Because I have an art tutorial to finish. And you are probably depending on me if you've made it this far into video. Because, to be uh, let's be honest, who watches art tutorials just to watch someone draw stuff as they teach them how to do it while the person watching isn't doing it along? Let's f and let's smooth out those wings. And if you are do watching this good just to watching it, I'm sorry. Have fun with your life choices. Darken up those lines. We'll eventually do uh, stuff. And there's the main fairy. Now let's draw her abducting a chair. Should we do a kitchen chair or an office chair? I'll do a kitchen chair. Go blum, wing, 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 wing. And then turn it over so we can draw the chair right. Give it a little cushion. And then finish that off. Smooth out the cushion. And there is your chair fairy. Your cherry. Yeah, the PDF definitely won't work as look as demonic as this. Let's put some stars. And we'll draw one weird just for good measure. There's your chair, fairy. I hope you like it. I'm feeling very accomplished about this. Let's do this now. finished uh cherry chair fairy i would forgot i was recording halfway through and started playing solitaire and then i re realized i was recording and stopped playing solitaire and finished coloring uh, luckily it was during the time lapse but here's the finished product and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial remember to leave a chair underneath your pillow tonight if you want to have the chair fairy come and visit and take the chair and maybe leave a prize in its place, like a couch. 
Have fun. Bye.